So if I want to generate a random character, uh, of course, I'm going to need to use my math.random. And we'll remember that actually creates a random double that's between 0 and 1. So not certainly what we want. But what we can do is we can cast it. But instead of casting it to an int, we're going to cast it to a character. And we're going to think about the code and what range they go in. So first of all, the range of characters is going to be 26, 26 letters of the alphabet. So I'm going to need to multiply this by 26. I also, though, need to start with the first letter of the alphabet, which if I'm going to start with capital letters, that would be 65. The character 65 is encoded as A. So I'm going to add 65. So this should generate a number that's in that range, starting with a 65 for A, going through 26 later, getting to Z. So now, if I take this, and I actually don't need to do the intermediate step of casting it to an int, I can just cast that directly to a char, and it should recognize that a number in that range and its char equivalent. So let's give that a try and see what we get. Yep, there we go. M, execute again, I get a Q, and you can see that that's producing random characters in the range that we're looking for. So hope you find that useful. Thank you.